morning, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado, registered pharmacist number 12275. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other health care practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality, to your health, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity and skin diseases like psoriasis and eczema and acne and rosacea and digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing system a miracle, it really is no miracle at all. It's just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you on the bright side. Our number is 855 660 4261, let us help you out if you have health challenges, if nobody's been able to help you, if your doctors, doctors haven't been able to help you, if they've told you you've been, you're going to be on prescription drugs the rest of your life, we can make a difference at 855-660-4261. Of course, if you want to share a success story or contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261 is your number. Likewise, if you have questions about the longevity products, the ones I take and the ones I recommend, 855-660-4261 is your number. Of course, if you all want to purchase any of the products that you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsidebed.com. Take a look at our shopping cart. we got all the products up there, including my personal favorite, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine Multivitamin Mineral Complex Powder that so many folks are finding out about, so many folks are getting benefits from, benefits like lower blood pressure, benefits like weaning off their prescription drugs, benefits like losing weight, benefits like appetite suppression, benefits like just feeling better. It's 50 bucks a canister. If you haven't tried this stuff yet, give it a shot. You can find out all about it at brightsideben.com or... You can call the Brightside Bed phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470, and ask them about joining the Brightside Bend team for a one-time $10 fee. You can make some money selling longevity products and help spread the word about the power and the importance of a good nutritional supplement program and start your own business. Enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. All for a one-time $10 fee. They can tell you all about it at 866-735-2470. Okay, our number, 855-660-4261. Try to get on board early, folks. I like to get as many calls in as possible. I hate leaving people on hold. If you get on board early, we can get to as, uh, we can get to as many questions as, uh, as many questions as we can at 855-660-4261. All right, we are talking about a really underappreciated substance in the body. It seems like we're always talking about underappreciated stuff in the body. That's because there's so much about the body that's underappreciated. We don't appreciate the healing and power and the magnificence, the really the, the divine magnificence of this miracle that is literally right under our noses, this hundred trillion cell miracle that we call the human body. We're talking about a super important and underappreciated substance in the body. We've been talking about it for last couple of days, this is a substance that's relevant for all health issues. It's a major marker for disease. It's a major marker for early death. It's a major marker for degeneration, like uh, degenerative conditions like osteoporosis. We're talking about albumin, which is better known as the protein in egg white. Now, egg white itself is called albumin, and the protein in albumin is known as albumin. Subtle difference, but an important one, albumin, A-L-B-U-M-E-N, is the technical name for egg white, and albumin is the technical name for the protein in egg white. Now, the non-water part of egg white is protein largely, and most of that protein is egg white. If you're, By the way, if you're allergic to eggs, you may be allergic to just the egg white portion or the egg yolk portion. If you still want to eat eggs and you find yourself allergic to eggs, if somebody's told you you're allergic to eggs, 
and you just want to take advantage of the taste of eggs, the nutrition in eggs, you may want to try just eating the yolk or just eating the white. You may find that you're reacting to just one of those components and you're not reacting to the other. So maybe that you can eat the egg white and maybe that you can eat the egg yolk. So it's worth a try for you guys who are interested in uh, interested in the nutritional value or the taste of eggs. And, and eggs are both highly nutritious and highly tasty. Albumin, as we've been saying, absorbs water. It's hygroscopic. It's the it's a globular protein. They call it a. There's two kinds of proteins in the body. You've got hard, long, strong, fibery proteins, and then you've got globby proteins. If you want to get a sense of what an albumin is like, just think of what an uncooked egg white is like, and that's basically the consistency of uh, albumin protein uh, of the protein albumin that is in your blood. It's got a kind of snotty quality, uh, and that snotty mucusy quality is really based on water trapping. Snot and mucus and or snot and mucus or snotty and mucusy because they're basically kinds of protein and sugar that are combined with water. They're water trapping proteins and technically they're referred to as globs or globular. In the blood you also have this kind of a snotty protein, of course, it's microscopic, so you can't really see it as a snotty protein if you're looking at blood. But if you look at it under a microscope, you would see that it's got that same water trapping property that mucus has or uh, that, uh, that any kind of globular protein has. But this, this kind of globiness is very, very tightly regulated. This is how the blood modifies its fluidity. Without albumin attracting water, without globular proteins attracting water, blood would dehydrate and there'd be problems. You'd have thicker blood. And the thicker the blood is, the less it circulates. And the less it circulates, the less nutrition, the less oxygenation, and the less detoxification you get. Thus, the importance, the health relevance of the body's albumin levels. When blood is too thick... Albumin is made in the liver. It's then deposited in the blood where it pulls water with it, increasing fluidity. The blood is connective tissue. You know, we don't think of the blood because it's a fluid. We don't think of it as tissue, but technically it is. It's connective tissue. And like all connective tissue, whether we're talking about the skin, the dermis of the skin, or whether we're talking about the bone, which is also connective tissue, or the ligaments, which is connective tissue, all connective tissue is like raisin bread, as we've said so many times in this program, raisins and bread. In the case of the blood, the connective tissue we call the blood, the serum, the liquidy portion is the bread, and the proteins in the cells, the albumin and the red blood cells and the white blood cells are the raisins. The blood is the carrier fluid for lots of things, including various proteins, and all of this carrying capacity depends on albumin for maintaining, as well as other proteins, by the way, for maintaining its fluidity. Albumin is the main protein, but all proteins in the blood are going to help the blood maintain its fluidity. Albumin and proteins in general act like a fluid sponge. Deficiencies in albumin, the albumin's made in the liver, so if you've got a liver problem, and many people do, if you have cirrhosis of the liver or fatty liver disease, this can cause a problem making albumin. Deficiencies in albumin can cause low blood volume. That can result in poor oxygenation and detoxification and and uh, and a malnourishment of tissues. The ordinary, ordinary circumstances, when blood volume's low, the liver will make more albumin, and albumin will get delivered into the blood. But if you have liver problems, and many of us do, that is not going to happen as effectively. And given the critical nature of albumin, you can be in big, big trouble. In fact, this is one of the ways that we die from liver disease. This is one of the ways that we break down from liver disease, simply by making less proteins and making less albumin. Measuring albumin is one of the ways doctors can determine liver health because albumin is specifically made in the liver. Any deficiencies in albumin can be an indicator of liver disease, fatty liver or fatty liver disease or, or cirrhosis. One of the most obvious consequences of an albumin deficiency is swelling and edema. That's because albumin pulls water into the blood. Without albumin, that water can leak out of the blood, and you can end up with swelling and edema. And if you're dealing with swelling of the ankles or any kind of swelling, really, you may very well be dealing with some kind of liver health issue. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We're taking your calls at 855-660-4261. Got a couple lines open for you. We'll be back at you with more good health information right after this. Don't go away. Hey, 
everybody. Jason Lewis here with another great idea from JasonLewisTeam.com. Now, how would you like an energy drink that's actually good for you? That's right, one that not only gives you an afternoon pick-me-up, but that's loaded with the most important antioxidants for reducing the damage from stress. It's called Pollen Burst, and it's a natural burst of energy that lasts for hours. Now, most energy drinks rely on a massive dose of caffeine, sugar, or even vitamin B. Pollen Burst takes a more balanced approach, and that's why I like it. I also love the fact that Pollen Burst has plenty of vitamin D and green tea extract. This is the best energy drink I've ever tried. So trust me, you'll not only like it better than the others, you'll love the way it's individually packaged for freshness as well. They've got these on-the-go stick packs. They're great. Pollen Burst. It's available at JasonLewisTeam.com or simply call 1-855-310-TEAM. For a natural burst of energy, it's Pollen Burst at JasonLewisTeam.com or 1-855-310-TEAM. Good day, Jim Newcomer from Minus Resources, November 11th, 2013. Gold opened this morning at 1284.10. A one ounce gold coin can be purchased for 1330.86, 665.43 for a half ounce, or 332.72 for a quarter ounce. That's 330.86, 665.43, and 332.72. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? Wait a sec. Gold and silver is going up while Congress is trying to to settle on the next debt increase. And there's no end to this madness. That old 401k and IRA can be converted into physical gold without tax consequences. I explain this in my book, 10 Reasons to Buy Gold. Don't let time slip away. Call for your free copy today, 800-686-2237. Get away from that Washington spin and get honest answers about gold. 800-686-2237. The book is free, 800-686-2237. My name is Frank Bates, and i got a confession to make. Just a few days ago, FEMA went directly to my supplier and tried to buy my entire stockpile of high-quality survival food. It sounds crazy, but I'll show you the exact letter they sent in a minute. Revealing FEMA's plot can land me in hot water, and I think you deserve to know exactly what they're doing. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see undeniable video proof that the government is on the hunt for as much survival food as they can grab in 24 hours. Be warned, it's really disturbing because the fact is FEMA must know something we don't. Go to FEMAHatesThis.com to see why survival food is the number one item to hoard right now and why supplies are so low or even completely sold out already at many stores across America. Do it now, because I don't know how long it will be online, so go to FEMAHatesThis.com while you can. That's FEMAHatesThis.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. GCN. Great talk radio starts here. On the bright side, thank you, friends, for being here. If you like what you hear, tell your friends. It's 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time on the Genesis Communication Network, 24-7 on our archive page at brightsideben.com. We have a shopping cart up with all the longevity products at brightsideben.com. You can also click on the Join the Team link if you want to start a longevity business, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. 
If you want to uh, join the Brightside Ben team, you can also click on the Join the Team link at brightsideben.com, or you can ask the folks at 866-735-2470. They can help you out as well for a one-time $10 fee. You can start a longevity business and get your products at the wholesale price and make some money, too. Okay, our number today is 855-660-4261. We'll get your calls here in our next segment, and we do have a couple lines open for you. If you've got questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs or you want to get yourself or a loved one off their or your prescription meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. 855-660-4261 is your number. And, of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, again, 855-660-4261. We're talking about albumin. Low, uh, low levels of albumin are associated with early mortality. Low levels of albumin are associated with degenerative diseases. Albumin is a super, super, super important blood protein that you don't hear a lot about. In addition to liver disease, low levels of albumin can be associated with malnutrition, with problems absorbing protein, digestive issues that impair protein absorption. Protein deficiencies in the diet can cause low levels of albumin. Tell that to your... Uh, vegetarian or vegan friends who say, oh, you don't need a lot of protein. Protein's overrated. Albumin, man, is super-duper important stuff, and it comes right from the diet, made in the liver. If you have intestinal disease, if you've got low stomach acid, if you're not making digestive enzymes, all of these can compromise albumin levels. And low levels of albumin are not just an indicator of early mortality. They're an indicator of liver disease, which is a big, big problem in this country. Some 30 or 40 million Americans are dealing with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. That's at least 1 out of 10 Americans. That's a bunch of people dealing with liver health issues. One of the main reasons for the link between diseases and mortality and uh, degeneration and low levels of albumin involves general protein synthesis. When the body is making enough protein, it's in growth mode, it's in repair mode, it's it's healing, it's anti-aging, it's basically loving life. Everything we love about life is associated with protein synthesis. The production of albumin can be a measurement of this protein synthesis, of how well the body is making protein. If you're not making albumin, you could very well be dealing with protein energy wasting, or so-called PEW. PEW, protein energy wasting, basically means you're falling apart. It basically means you're degenerating instead of regenerating. Remember, the body is designed to build. The body is designed to repair. If you're not building, if you're not repairing, if you're dealing with a degenerative disease crisis, no matter what it is, autoimmunity or or osteoporosis or accelerated aging, accelerated wrinkles, if you're dealing with any kind of degenerative crisis, instead of regenerating, folks, you're breaking down and you're heading towards an early demise and something is going wrong in the body because the body's nature is to regenerate and heal. If your body, if you're degenerating, if you're not healing, chances are you're dealing with PEW uh, impaired protein synthesis or as they say, protein energy wasting. Albumin, by the way, is protective of blood vessels as well. Albumin, as it's floating in the blood, is acting as an antioxidant. In fact, it's a very, very powerful antioxidant, and it's protecting blood vessels from oxidation. Oxidation is a kind of rusting. The body rusts, and that's one of the ways that we age. Albumin is a powerful anti-rusting substance, antioxidant substance, and it's specifically antioxidant or anti-rusting for blood vessels. It protects blood vessels from poisons that are entering into the circulatory system, either from the digestive tract or from gut bacteria. Diabetics are especially at risk for albumin problems. That's because albumin can sugar. Technically, it can glycate is what they call it, but you can think of it like a candy or a caramelization. You can think of it like a a caramelized form of albumin. Diabetics are at risk for glycated albumin. This idea of glycation of proteins is unfortunately not something we talk a lot about on the bright side, but it's very, very important when it comes to the aging and the degenerative disease process. Sugar and proteins react to form something called glycation end products or glycated end products. And these glycated end products that are, you can think of them as a sugared form of protein, are a major cause of aging and a major cause of degeneration. In fact, scientists will call these glycation end products or these sugared end products or sugared proteins, they'll call them advanced glycated end products. 
as in age, A-G-E, to refer to the fact that these advanced glycated end products are associated with aging and the degenerative disease process, the aging and breakdown process. Diabetes and blood sugar issues are really a twofold problem. There's two major aspects to the disease process that ensues after somebody's got diabetes or when somebody has what's called dysglycemia. Dysglycemia is just a fancy way of saying bad blood sugar. Dys meaning bad, glyce meaning sugar, emia meaning in the blood. Dysglycemia or bad blood sugar has two aspects to it, two very important aspects to it. First of all, you've got elevations in the hormone insulin when you're dysglycemic. And by the way, a lot of folks will say, well, I, I had a blood test done and the doctor said I wasn't diabetic. But that doesn't mean you're not dysglycemic. Just because you're not officially a diabetic, just because the doctor didn't officially uh, declare that your test score said you were diabetic, uh, diabetic, doesn't mean that you're not dysglycemic. Doesn't mean that your blood sugar control is not starting to break down. It doesn't mean just because the doctor says you're not a full-blown diabetic, it doesn't mean that you're not starting to experience some of the signs of poor blood sugar control. Now, there's two aspects to this dysglycemic breakdown. Number one, you've got the insulin aspect. When you're dysglycemic, usually your insulin, insulin levels are starting to creep up. They're starting to rise. Insulin is important stuff, obviously, but there's some problems associated with excess insulin. First of all, insulin stimulates cell growth and cell division. And this can cause problems with clogs in the circulatory system. Cells in the circulatory system, that is cells that line the circulatory system, cells that line blood vessels will divide out of control when there's too much insulin floating around in the blood. As those cells start to divide out of control inside blood vessels, they can cause clogs and this can lead to problems with blood pressure, it can lead to high blood pressure. Uh, especially, and it can also lead to problems with d nutrient delivery, oxygenation, and detoxification. Elevations in insulin will eventually lead to a reduced insulin response. This is one of the ways the body compensates or adjusts, homeostatically adjusts for these elevated levels of insulin. So as your insulin levels rise, your body will stop listening to insulin. That's called insulin resistance. And the more sugar we eat, the more insulin comes out over time, the more insulin is required, and then cells stop listening to insulin, so more insulin is required. This can become this downward vicious spiral, and that's what type 2 diabetes really is. It's long-term insulin resistance. Eventually, cells just completely stop listening to insulin, and that's when you got really big problems. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. I've got lots more to say about albumin and blood sugar, and we'll take your phone calls as well. Don't go away. Got more good stuff coming at you right after this. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. 
kind. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website, TaxHelpOnline.com. That's TaxHelpOnline.com. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Uh, we travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies. Products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a big Berkey at bigberkeywaterfilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1 877 99 Berkey. That's 877 99 B E R K E Y. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. Back on the break side, I am Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for being here. We're talking about glycation and albumin and diabetes. There's two problems associated with diabetes. The first is insulin and insulin resistance. As our body stops listening to insulin, we've got to make more insulin. And insulin's got some problems associated with it. It's a very important, clearly very important stuff, very important hormone, but it's associated with cell growth and cell division. It makes things move. And if you're dealing with any kind of cysts, or you're dealing with fibroids, or you're dealing with hypertension, chances are you are dealing with insulin resistance. One of the most classic signs of insulin resistance is something that happens to us as we get older. And I can always tell by looking at somebody if they're experiencing some of the effects of insulin resistance. And I'll tell you what I mean by that when we continue talking about diabetes, glycation, and proteins on our next Bright Side episode. Time to hit our phones. Our number is 855-660-4261. We do have a couple lines open for you. If you'd like to get on board, try to get on board early so we can get to as many calls as possible at 855-660-4261. Randy in Texas, welcome to the Bright Side. What's up, buddy? Whoa, what is up, Randy? Turn that thing down. Got it? Yeah. Randy, I need you to turn your radio down or I'm going to have to put you back on hold. Turn that radio down, man. 
Did we lose Randy? All right, Randy, I'm going to put you back on hold. We'll get... Okay, Randy, you got to call us back. There's some, something wrong with your phone. I'm not sure what the heck's going on, but I'd like to talk to you. So give us a call back, uh, and we'll get you first up, Randy in Texas. Okay, Kim in West Virginia, what's up? Welcome to the Bright Side. Let's see, Kim in West Virginia. We got you, Kim. Yeah, I'm here. Hi, Kim. What's up? Hi. I have a, a big problem going on with me in the last couple of months, and it's okay. getting worse. Let's see if we can help you. All right. First off, I do, I'm 51. I have okay. 70 pounds. Um, I've had MS since 89. Okay. This is not what's bothering me right now. I've had the cat skins, and I've had a recent one, and nothing's changed as far as the plaques for that. But right now... I, I went through, uh, at the end of October, uh, my whole left side of my head went numb and kind of a shadow over my left eye. And then my left arm started going numb. I've always had numbness in my feet and fingertips, okay, for a long time. All right, but well, you're, you're way overthinking this, ma'am. I mean, you're going to fall apart, and it's going to be a lot worse. There's all kinds of horrible stuff that's on the way for you if you don't turn this thing around. I know. Well, it's clear you, across my abdomen. and yeah, It ain't going to get better. Okay, so we got to stop. We got to we got to stop the madness here, as my, my friend Sandy says. Stop the madness. we gotta, we got to put the brakes on this whole degenerative crisis. Now, you've had MS since 1989. That's... Uh, do some quick math here. That was it's almost 25 years. So right. it's, it's not a it's not unusual that you'd start to be you, you would start to experience some dramatic breakdowns at this point in time. 51 years old is a, you ain't no spring chicken, my dear. So we oh, gotta I know. we I gotta too. I okay. Know. All right. All right. Let's put the brakes on this thing right away. Start if you if you want to reverse this thing, you can reverse it starting today. Not completely reverse it today, but starting today, you can reverse it. Number one, you got to understand that you have an immune system problem. Problem. Right. Okay. Now you know that. It's right. all, uh, they, they'll tell you it's an autoimmune disease, but I'm just going to tell you it has a general immune system problem. The immune system is your defense system. It keeps uh, exactly. it keeps the enemy at bay. So something is making your defense system alert and awake and hyperactive. Mm-hmm. So we got to calm down that defense system. We got to quiet down the defense system. We got to we got to uh, uh, nurture and sustain and and uh, just be kind and gentle to the defense system. Well, how do you do that? Well, we've got to figure out what's offending the body that's perking up and, and alerting the defense system. Something is getting into your body that's causing a defensive response. That means something is offending the body. You've got an offensive agent that's activating a defensive response. Now, what could that offensive agent be? That's the only thing we really need to know, Kim. The only thing you need to know is so cool. This is so simple. It's so easy. That's why I say you can start this reversal process right away. Okay. All we got to do is figure out what is offending the body. So I'm going to play a little. I'm, I'm going to play a little game with you here, Kim. Okay, and this is all, all right. for all, all our listeners who are dealing with immune or autoimmune health issues. We'll play this little game. Okay, I'm going to say something. You tell me if you think that this could be one of the offending agents. Okay, just say yes or no. Could could the offending agent that's sparking the defense system that's causing this immune problem? Could the offending agent be a little elf that's shooting an arrow at you? Yes or no? Hello. No. No, probably not. Okay. Could it be a little gnome that climbed inside your nose and activated your defense system? No. no. Probably not. Could be a little angel that's sprinkling no. little offensive. No. Okay. No, I used to be an RN. <laughs> okay. So I'm kind of teasing you. I'm playing. I'm playing. I admit it. I don't mean to be rude. I'm just playing with you. Obviously, it's not going to be an angel. It's not going to be a gnome. It's not going to be an elf. It's something that's getting into your body either through the skin through the nose or through the mouth. Now, you don't sound like an IV drug user, so it's probably not coming in through your skin. Okay, you're not injecting it into the blood. Yeah, it's probably not coming in through the nose because you'd be having all kinds of nasal problems and respiratory problems. So well, that only I least... do have lots of dust allergies. And stuff uh, that's, and uh, maybe that's a contributing factor, but that's not the bulk of it. The, va- the vast majority of your immune system is located in the digestive tract. Considering the way we Americans eat, considering the way our food is processed, considering the way our food is grown, considering uh, our soil depletion, the yeah. chances are pretty darn good, my dear, that you're dealing with some kind of digestive health crisis. I, I don't eat well at all. All right, sweetheart. Okay. Then we got to start focusing on that, Kim. Mm-hmm. Number, and I'm not going to beat you up about that. You're an RN and you don't need me to beat you up. You know, what's, you know what you're doing. you got to start linking your symptoms. You probably notice your symptoms flare up with, with certain foods. So you got to start linking those flare-ups and you got to start linking your digestive symptomology to specific foods and then eliminate those 
foods. That's step number one. Well, fact, I eliminate bread. Well, that's just one. Uh, Kim, it could be spinach. It could be tomatoes. It could be potatoes. It could be avocados. It could be lettuce. It could be even things that you think are good. It's not just gluten. It's not just bread, as bad as those are. So it doesn't matter what it is, but whatever it is, you got to eliminate it. That's step number one. Step number, and then, by the way, if you just fast for a couple of days, if you're absolutely miserable and you fast for a couple of days, you'll notice you start to feel better just when you fast. The second thing you want to do is start doing nutrition that soothes that digestive system. I'm going to give you a whole bunch of nutrients. Nutrients. And for you guys who've heard me say this a million times, I, I, I'm sorry to do this to you again, but it's just repetition is reinforcement and it's worth hearing it again. Number one, the BioLumen Nightly Essence. Don't even waste a minute as soon as you hang up the phone, call your longevity rep, get on the BioLumen Nightly Essence, take 80 billion units, four or five of those capsules a day. Wait, Second, what is that? It's Bio. called, I'll spell it for you, okay? BioLumen, that's the company, B-I-O-L-U-M-I-N, BioLumen Nightly Essence. And you can get that from your, your, your longevity rep. Make, right. sure you, make sure you're eating fermented foods, lots of them, kimchi. Fermented. Ferment, fermented, fermented beets and, and miso and tempeh. And anything fermented is going to help, that, uh, help your gut bacteria, and it's going to help uh, replace the bad bacteria with good bacteria. And that's going to reduce the blood toxicity and reduce the immune acti- activation. And and then uh, thirdly, get yourself on digestive enzymes, and you want to take digestive enzymes with all your meals. And you also, when you have a a MS or any immune problem, you want to take digestive enzymes on an empty stomach with meals and also on an empty stomach. All your meals should finish up uh, with apple cider vinegar, and then uh, it wouldn't hurt you to get on some extra bile salts. And then maybe an hour after you've done with your meals, get yourself on pancreatin as well. A couple more things I want to tell you about the digestive system. One more longevity product I want to tell you about as well. So hang tight, Kim. Truth Raider, Betty, Randy, we'll get to all you guys when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back at you right after this. Don't go away. Hello, it's Tom Chenault from The Tom Chenault Show. We are experts in home-based business and residual income. We show people how to make money from their home, either part-time or full-time. And in partnership with Genesis Communication Network, we've organized a team to fight back about people not having money, time, or health. And we need your help. What we want you to do is if you've got an interest in building an organization to fight back against people taking our money, taking our time, and taking our health, we want to talk to you. All you need to do is call this number, 855-308-8326. Again, all you want to do is call 855 308 8326. You can make a tremendous amount of money and end up fighting for a great cause. Please call us right now. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curve appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Which do you love best, Thanksgiving dinner or leftovers? The meal takes such time and effort, you wish it was easier so you could have it more often. Well, right now it is. Right now you can. 
Imagine your family enjoying the ultimate comfort food easily during stressed out times of a disaster or emergency or outdoors while camping or hiking. The freeze-dried feast from Freeze Dry Guy is a special case of Thanksgiving dinner ready for you any day of the year for at least 25 years. Freeze-dried turkey tetrazzini, green beans, dehydrated potatoes and sweet potatoes. Yes, even dessert. This delicious feast is ready to eat when you want or need it most easily in just minutes. Go to freezedryguy.com or call 866-404-3663, 866-404-FOOD. There's free shipping, plus your family could win a free traditional Thanksgiving dinner. Go now to freezedryguy.com. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Hi, I'm Ed Krell, CEO of Destination Maternity. We proudly support the March of Dimes work to reduce the rate of premature birth. The numbers have gone down in the past five years, but still, nearly half a million babies are born too soon in the United States each year. We're helping the March of Dimes fund cutting-edge research and community programs to help more moms have full-term pregnancies and healthy babies. Join us in working together for stronger, healthier babies. Visit MarchofDimes.com. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we're back on the bright side talking to Kim in West Virginia. I'm going to go real quick, Kim, because I want to get to all my callers here. All right, uh, hold. I'm trying so, to keep up. <laughs> okay, well, you can always review the program, you guys. Everybody out there listening, I know I go fast because there's tons of information. I want to get you as much info as I can, and that's what this show is really about. This is a content-driven show. It's an information-packed show, and I know I do go fast, and I give you lots of stuff, but you can always go to brightsideben.com and check out the archive page. Actually, there's another uh, website right. called benfuchsarchives.com that my friend Peter put up, Peter uh, from the UK, and you can actually do searches for keywords at benfuchsarchives.com. In any case, fasting number one, connecting up your flare-ups, your immune system flare-ups, and your digestive system problems to specific foods, and then eliminating those foods. Then you want to make sure you're on uh, probiotics, good bacteria, and fermented foods. Get on the Biolumin Nightly Essence. That's my favorite probiotic supplement. And then you also want to use uh, uh, you want to use digestive enzymes with your meals and digestive enzymes on an empty stomach. You want to finish your meals up with apple cider vinegar. You want to use pancreatin enzymes, uh, and you want to take those at the maybe an hour when you're uh, an hour after you complete your meals. Uh, bile salts can be helpful. Lecithin can also be helpful. And last but not least, one of my all time. Uh, less than just sprinkle some, uh, maybe a teaspoon or a couple teaspoons of powder in water, stir it up, and drink it down. Uh, last but not least, one of my all-time favorite digestive system soothing products and immune system boosting products is the Z Radical from Longevity. It's relatively inexpensive. I think it's about 30 or 35 bucks for a bottle, and it's w- it's wonderful for all digestive health issues as well as immune system issues. And then a couple other things. Radical maybe. what? It's called the Z. Radical product. Okay. Okay, and then aloe and noni are both also very helpful for soothing the digestive tract. Thanks for your call, Kim in West Virginia. God bless, and I hope everything works out. And don't forget about bone soup. The cartilage in bone soup is wonderful for the digestive system, and also it will help with uh, help support immune the immune system as well uh, for all autoimmune issues. Bone soup. Okay, we got Randy in Texas back. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh, fine. Sorry about that noise earlier. No worries. What I wanted What's... to ask you about was that uh, my wife is unable to digest vegetables like uh, peppers and onions. Okay. No, or not, a, not uncommon. Not uncommon. Now, peppers are a special category. Peppers are classified technically as nightshade vegetables, and they do produce a toxin that can be a problem for some folks. Now, I'm, not, I'm assuming that's not the issue that you're talking about. You're probably talking about the cellulose, the uh, the uh, fibery stuff that's in veggies. You know, animals that eat a lot of vegetation, they need to have multiple stomachs in order to get those nutrients out of vegetables. So if you're going to try to get nutrients from vegetables, if you're a vegetarian or eating lots of veggies or you just like veggies and you're having a problem, 
problem digesting those vegetables, grind them up, make a smoothie, uh, a vegetable juice and a Vitamix, or you can just grind them up a little bit in a food processor, or you can even just chop them up with a knife. Now, when you're chopping or grinding or, or blending or making smoothies or juices out of vegetables, you want to make sure that you're using your veggies quickly because as the air contacts those little uh, vegetable particles, the nutrients in the veggies will start to break down. Essentially, the air will, pr- will, will digest, in a way, the vegetables. So if you're making juices or you're chopping your veggies up in a salad, uh, you want to, uh, you want to uh, make sure that you use them fresh because they'll break down quickly and you'll lose a lot of that a lot of the benefits. Another thing you can do is a steam or slightly roast your vegetables. That can help uh, loosen up some of those nutrients and break up some of those fibers. That's another strategy. And whenever you're cooking your veggies, this is or, or roasting or steaming your veggies, this is very important, by the way, for folks who don't have a gallbladder, have liver health issues, menopausal women, anybody who's dealing with digestive problems, use butter or coconut oil with your veggies. You'll help pull out those fatty nutrients, the, what they call flavonoids and carrots proteins, phytonutrients, these substances are very protective, uh, very anti-aging. They're sun protective. They're protective against wrinkles, uh, against uh, uh, skin damage from the sun, or uh, they're just generally protective. They tend to be fatty, and if you don't have a gallbladder, you have any liver health problems, you're not going to get the advantage of those nutrients. But if you cook or steam or roast the veggies with a little bit of oil, those fatty nutrients will come out in the oil, and they'll be easier for you to process and digest. So, Randy, have your have your wife uh, roasting or slightly cooking with some veg with some butter or uh, or coconut oil and have your wife also blending uh, the veggies in a, in a, a Vitamix or even just chopping them up in a food processor and that'll improve uh, and make it easier for you to absorb those nutrients and thanks for your call appreciate it all right uh, Betty in Colorado welcome to the bright side what's going on Betty do we have Betty 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 going once going twice Go in three times. I'm sorry, Betty. We've got to let you go. I don't know what happened to Betty there. Truth Raider, what's up, buddy? Or he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can deny. Good morning, Pharmacist Ben. Thank you, Carl. How are you doing today? <laughs> well, doing much better. I had a five-day bout with gingivitis. Oh, no. Now, my question is, this is question number two. Finally went away, though, so it's gone now. Question number two, gingivitis, is that a... Is that scurvy of the gums? Uh, yeah, you know, it could be. Scurvy is just a general term for breakdown of connective tissue. It's caused by, actually, scurvy is, refers to vitamin C deficiency that causes a breakdown in connective tissue. Gingivitis is, is the beginnings of a breakdown in the gum tissue. Uh, but basically, gingivitis is just kind of a an irritation and a redness and a swelling. It can lead to more serious problems. It can lead to a breakdown in the gum tissue. Uh, but you want to consider gingivitis as a warning sign, as a, a shot ac- across the bow, as they say, uh, that you're starting to, to uh, experience a little bit of breakdown. So there's a couple of things that you want to do with gingivitis. Number one, you want to figure out if you have any kind of digestive issue that's impairing your absorption of nutrients, and if there is anything like that, celiac disease or, or ulcerative colitis or, or irritable bowel syndrome or really any kind of digestive health issue, you want to correct that. That's always the first thing that you want to do because no matter what kind of supplements you take or how you change your diet around, if you have breakdowns in the tissue, in the uh, intestinal tissue, the mucosa, the surface of the intestinal lining, you're not going to absorb your nutrients. So the first thing you always want to do is focus on that digestive tract and focus on nutrient absorption. Uh, If there's any kind of digestive issues, those need to be corrected. Probiotics can be very helpful, not just because, not only because they help with the digestive process, but probiotics are also anti-inflammatory. They can help reduce the, uh, the influx of inflammatory factors from bad bacteria. So getting on fermented foods and using probiotics like the Biolumin Nightly Essence can be helpful. And then there's digestive enzymes, which have a twofold effect on the inflammatory process. Number one, they can help we, help you access nutrients from foods. But number two, they can also act as anti-inflammatories if you take them on an empty stomach, like the Ultimate Enzymes, for example. If you take it on an empty stomach, you'll get systemic anti-inflammatory effects. And then as you alluded to, gingivitis is not exactly... Uh, uh, scurvy, but it sure can be related to vitamin C deficiency, and I'd be taking high doses of vitamin C in a liquid form, not pills, uh, not capsules even, but liquid vitamin C, and this is one of the neatest things about the Beyond Tangy Tangerine is the liquid, easy to absorb vitamin C, two scoops will get you a thousand milligrams, get on the BTT, sip on it all day long, do two scoops a day, but sip on it all day long, that'll get you your vitamin C. Now, there's a couple other nutrients that 
are important for gingivitis and gum disease that you don't hear a lot about. One is folic acid. In fact, all the B complex is important, but especially folic acid. I'd be taking 400, 800 micrograms or so of folic acid with the entire B complex. You'll get 400 mics of of folic acid in, the, in a couple of scoops of the BTT, but you may want to throw in some extra folic acid as well and make sure you're taking the entire B complex. As always, when you take one B vitamin like folic acid, you always want to make sure that you're getting the entire complex with it. And then you don't hear a lot about coenzyme Q10 for gum disease, but it is really, really helpful. Uh, I'd be doing 100 milligrams of CoQ10. I love CoQ10, man. That is an amazing, amazing supplement. It's not an essential nutrient. It's not one of the, the 90 essential nutrients because your body can make coenzyme Q10, but it doesn't always make enough coenzyme Q10, especially as we get old, older. Coenzyme Q10 is a energizing nutrient, and the tissues that use energy the most are going to be using the most, uh, are going to be uh, using the most coenzyme Q10 in the body. That is the liver, the digestive tract in general, the skin, and, and uh, connective tissue in the gum. So about 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10. When you're using your CoQ10, you always want to look for oil-soluble CoQ10. And by the way, CoQ10 is almost like a miracle for heart disease, for uh, cardiomyopathy or folks who've had a history of heart disease or, or uh, uh, heart attacks, uh, 100 to 200 milligrams of CoQ10, oil-soluble CoQ10. And CoQ10's cousin, which is vitamin E, work together. So if you're taking CoQ10, you also might want to consider 400, uh, 400 international units of vitamin E in its mixed tocotrienol form. For you guys who want to try coenzyme Q10 for cardiovascular health, issues. Read a book called The Sinatra Solution by a, a cardiologist named uh, Stephen Sinatra. We've talked about him before on the program. Uh, and he's got some really neat things to say about CoQ10 in addition to magnesium and uh, a couple other nutrients uh, for, you, for, uh, for heart disease. CoQ10, though, for, for the gingivitis, Carl, that can be helpful, too. Thanks for your call. Appreciate it. And that's all the time we have for today. Thank you guys for listening. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you've heard us talk about on the program, Call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 or head over to my website, brightsideben.com, or my blog, pharmacistben.com, and you can purchase any of the products you've, you've heard advertised or recommended on the program today. That's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful day. We'll talk to you later, folks. Bye for now. Sig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American made? Vapriate e liquid by Lasig is. Manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapriate e liquid by Lasig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapriate e liquid by Lasig a long time ago. Lasig.com has every Everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware and also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriate at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440, 870-525-1440. Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. American gardeners and fellow patriots make the right choice with your money, time, and your family food supply. Choose 100% pure heirloom seeds in the Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com. Why spend more? The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com is only $37.95 and includes 20 varieties of pure, hardy, easy-to-grow heirloom seeds. Yes, only $37.95. That's 70% less than our competitors. You could buy three Survival Seed Vaults for less than one of theirs. The Survival Seed Vault from MyPatriotSupply.com includes detailed planting and seed saving instructions and ship same day. Plus, all orders over $49 ship free. MyPatriotSupply.com is American owned by patriots like you, passionate about freedom and preparedness. Call now, 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Or discover more emergency preparedness items when you order at MyPatriotSupply.com. Choose the original. Choose the Survival Seed Vault at MyPatriotSupply.com.